Yeah, it finally worked. If you've been following VYB for a while, you'll realise that after two years of slaving away, burning and churning endless videos, we finally enjoyed a bit of a purple patch, growing our subscribers from 30 to 50,000 in under two weeks. How the hell did that happen? We've also found that we're starting to get comments on our videos by some pretty big names in the YouTube game, and so, looking to keep on riding the growth train, we decided now was the time to try and collaborate with them. This is the story of how we DM'd 100 YouTube for a collaboration. Yeah, it, was, uh, it was 82. But the title of the video doesn't work. Why didn't we just DM another 18? Well, it was 82. This is the story of how we DM'd 82 YouTubers for a collab. It doesn't make any sense. No, hang on, you can't. It's not YouTubers because I did like, I did like celebrities as well. So it's not just YouTubers. This is the story of how we DM'd 82 YouTubers and celebrities for a collaboration. Decent. We started things off by watching as much YouTube as humanly possible to construct the perfect list of channels that A, we like to watch, and B, were well suited to the content we wanted to make. We then decided we'd try and develop a unique idea to pitch to each and every single one of them. Okay, up first. First on the list. I would like to point out, mine are less YouTubers, gone for more personalities. First up, I'm gonna go with Simon Wilson. He's kind of like a travel vlogger. One of the UK's best, Amelia. Chicken shop there. Big name in the industry right now, Chunks. I'm gonna message Big Ainsley Harriet. What do you reckon to that one? Hey man. That work? Hey Amelia, this is totally random, but I work for a YouTube channel called VYB and are planning on making a video where we film the best YouTube video the world has ever seen. Yo, bro, I'm gonna cut straight to the chase. So I've basically suggested him. My YouTube channel is creating a video where we absolutely loving the content. As the queen of chicken shops, just butter him up a little bit. That'll wrap it. Well, that's the best travel idea we've got as a channel, so hopefully Simon buys into that. Love with the shacket emoji in there, you know what I'm saying? It's the sort of thing I feel like he'd want to do, man, in the public eye and cause some nuisances of ourselves, like that. Do you fancy adding some spice to the mix. Let me know and we can cook up a stall. Kiss? Why not? Okay. I'm thinking next we go to TGF. I'm going Jay and Ramel. London Hacks. There's loads of good stuff about living really cheaply in London. Ubar Butler we're doing next does stuff for Vice, but he basically turned his shed that he lived in into a number one rated restaurant on TripAdvisor. Hey Jay, we want to fake a... We've got Vogue. Yo, you might have seen me modelling for Giacomo and that, still. Cal Freezy, killing at the moment. So I've got this thing in my head right, where there's potential, that big nasty in a big zoo. Hey Cal, we want to sneak. Do you want to know if you wanted to collaborate on a video where we set the challenge? To yes, Theory. David Dobrik. Probably my favourite channel on YouTube. My favourite YouTuber. I think they're in Sweden at the moment. True Geordie, you know what I'm saying? Yo, full stop. Me versus you. Full stop. KSI versus Logan Paul undercard. What are you telling me? Question mark. <laughs> I'm gonna hit up Lily Allen. Why not? Fancy letting us. Oh dear. So uh, I don't think this can be true, Geordie. Boom. Right. Uh, who else we got? Let's have a look. Will and a very very nice bloke. Will, we are making a video in which we create a fake Maisie Williams Game of Thrones Arya star. She actually has a YouTube channel and massive fan of her. Now Nico has commented on a video before, but we've got to be smart. Hey mate, so we have an idea to pose as a. So I'm gonna go straight in with it. Yeah. Wow. If you've got a kid, yeah, I'm gonna scream like this in front of my video. I'm gonna... Jeremy Corbyn. <laughs> Jezza, we could dress you up as a Tory. It's actually a decent idea. Max Fosh, the king of the Vox Pop. So I do Jamie Oliver. So I do the whole thing with a lisp. Uh, what was the next one? Sorry, brother. No more recording, no more photography allowed here. You're not allowed? No, Lord. Sorry for that. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Oh, man. You've been kicked out. No worries. <laughs> Sorry for that. Last up, I'm a bit nervous about this one. What should I say to him? Oh god, can you give me some advice on how to do the thing where you sound like you're laughing in your voiceovers? <laughs> Staring straight into those dead We interrupt this broadcast 
slash YouTube video to give you a polite reminder that if you're enjoying it and want to help us grow to a size that maybe one day other YouTubers might be reaching out to us for collaboration, please remember to hit that like button, leave a comment, and most importantly, subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Right, so now we've got the first half of the 100 names that we have DM'd. We thought, why not go to the people who watch our videos every single week, i.e. the fans. So, it's just gone past 5 p.m. on a Thursday, and that means we've just put an upload out. So, we're gonna Lugs. pin a comment asking people who they want us to collaborate with. Yeah, well done. But what is this that you're doing? Dunno. Trying to film a little bit. Here. Dunno, but he's trying to film a little bit. Meanwhile, I'm just <coughs> choking <laughs> out. <laughs> That's it, it's done, it's, it's finished. It's, it's completely finished, he's done, he's finished. It's finished, tap. Tap, he's finished, it's finished, bro. Ah, tap, 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 tap. Ah. Tap. Oh, do you, I will choke you. Tap. <coughs> tap. Tap. I'll never tap to you. <laughs> so, after pinning the comment and also putting out an Instagram story, we collected all the names that you guys asked for and reached out to our favourites. Boo kind of just popped up a lot. Oh, that's a good one. An obvious choice has been about 10 subscribers asking for Zach and Jay. Definitely. Do a lot of similar things to us. Good guys. Do you know what he said on one of their recent videos that he's making music again at the minute? Now this is an important one. Yeah, gotta get this right. Big channel. Big channel. How do we start this? We are Banksy. Do you not remember they were looking for Banksy? Why don't we pitch the... I reckon we pitched them the idea where we try and get a fake... Joe Weller. If we get him, it's mad. There's been a lot more subscribers ask for Nelkin Jeremy. He does a lot of stuff on the street, like fake stuff like we do, yeah, like pranks do. and stuff. He also does the haunted house stuff, doesn't he? Yeah. After Nelk's latest video, they put up an Instagram story mm. saying anyone who likes the YouTube video and sends us a DM with a screenshot of us liking the video will reply to all DMs. Have you done that? Yeah, I've done it. Well done, mate. That's just practice. What if we try to make one? Young Philly? One year open with, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Is it too much? Sorry, man. I know it's big, but what I was thinking. What about if we send them the idea where we host? Bam. After reaching out to all 82 potential collaborators, we decided to create ourselves the perfect promotional video for the channel just to entice them that bit more into working with us. Hey, YouTubers, and let me welcome you to VYB. What is this arm? <laughs> no, no, what's going on with that? <laughs> Summarise BYB in one sentence or phrase. Three lads and a girl and a lad that we brought along for the ride from Knots. Just love creating really bad content. Imagine like the Lidl version of all of your favourite YouTube groups. What makes BYB unique? Um. um the way we work is quite, it's, it's in depth. So you go on YouTube and you see like all these people making all these videos and, and what we do is we we just make them we make exactly the same videos as everyone else but we give it like three months in between so that no one can really claim we've stolen it and then what we do is we make stupid skits like this just to sort of long it out to 10 minutes so we can get that mid roll in as well so describe each of the on-screen talent of vyb Right, so Sam, go watch the Valentine's video, the owner of the worst wardrobe on the channel. A man who can literally become upset at the slightest piece of feedback. <laughs> literally about anything, goes into a mood and his head drops. I've never heard one man talk about China so much in my entire life. It's a country, you've been there, we get it. Lovely fella, but thin skinned. <laughs> <laughs> And then we've got Horner, who's way too old to be a part of this crew. <laughs> the owner of the largest nose on YouTube, Dave Horner, owns possibly the most offensive trainers I've ever seen. Is wearing them currently right now. Oh, we'll leave it there, shall we? Don't want to go too arse on the big man, literally. Sav, a man who showers before he goes to the gym, so for the whole day you're working with him, he absolutely reeks of hell. Watching the man eat is one of the most disgusting sights <laughs> in the world. He inhales food. Hang on, I just got a, wait, no, I just got a, uh, an alert on, oh, I don't have my phone, give me my phone. I need to do a little bit in it. Yeah, yeah, it's down there, it's down there, it's down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, just do it. Get this in while you're getting a little bigger. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> uh, Joseph Tomlinson now, top two worst blokes I've ever met. 
Go Tomlinson. <laughs> if you want to work with a guy who constantly brings up his girlfriend every other minute... Joe, a few years ago, went on a trip to, uh, to Russia with a few influencers. At this time, he wore Jack Wills and Hollister. Suddenly, the boy's all over his hype beast. Suddenly, he knows everything about Supreme, whatever. Just know that was not an organic change. The man used to wear boat shoes every living day. They stunk. They f***ing stunk. If there was one more thing to say to a YouTuber watching, what would it be? Collab with us now, before we're too big, and then we'll just long you lot off, innit? As we wrapped up shooting the promo vid, we finally got some news that we were waiting yeah. for. DMs come in from when we sent out the first lot. I've only got three. Yeah, so you've got more than anyone. <laughs> <laughs> three good ones, though. Man, like no. In the building. Be good to meet up and have a chat about some other ideas soon. You know, um, the video we pitched him, he really liked the idea. So I've got. Sick. Oh. Uh. And, uh. Oh, that's banging. That's Morning. Are you filming? Did you get any DMs? Anyone? I did, yeah. said he got one. You got any yeah, DMs? I got one. I got one. You got one? Yeah, go on. Uh. Oh. Ooh. That that's is. Crazy. That's wavy. That, that's that's unreal. Hey, right, bro, the end of straight back be like, when you when do you want to meet up? We need to get on it. So I'm gonna meet up with him later on in the week, I think. Bang. And that was the story of how we reached out to 82 YouTubers and celebrities. To those that we've already had a reply from, we can't wait to work with you. And to those that haven't yet had the chance to reply, if you're watching this and are up for collaborating, we're ready when you are. Next Thursday on the VYB YouTube channel.